Once upon a time in the mystical kingdom of Avalora, a young and curious village girl named Lily was drawn to a peculiar old bookstore tucked away in a quiet corner. Inside, amidst the rows of dusty tomes, she discovered a hidden passage leading to a magical realm known as the Realm of Illusions. Lily's eyes widened with wonder as she stepped into a world filled with vibrant colors and whimsical creatures. She soon encountered a mischievous fairy named Amara, who revealed the secrets of the realm. Amara explained that in the Realm of Illusions, anyone could transform into their heart's deepest desire. Intrigued by the possibility of metamorphosis, Lily shared her desire to experience life as a fearless and charismatic adventurer. Amara, sensing her longing, presented her with a shimmering masquerade mask that possessed the power to grant temporary transformations. As Lily donned the mask, a surge of energy coursed through her body. She felt her form shifting and soon found herself standing tall and proud as a gallant young man named Leo. His eyes sparkled with excitement as he explored the fantastical landscapes of the realm. Leo embarked on daring quests, battling mythical creatures and uncovering ancient treasures. With each adventure, he discovered newfound courage and resourcefulness, traits he never thought possible within himself. The mask had not only transformed his appearance, but also unlocked a deep well of inner strength. In, in the midst of his journeys, Leo encountered a captivating sorceress named Serafina. She possessed an enchanting aura and an air of mystery that drew Leo closer. Serafina, recognizing Leo's true identity beneath the mask, revealed that she too was a crossdresser who used her magic to explore different facets of her being. Together, Leo and Serafina formed an inseparable bond, supporting each other on their transformative journeys. They embarked on quests as a duo, exchanging stories and advice, and empowering one another to embrace their true selves. But as their adventures continued, a formidable villain, the Dark Enchantress, emerged, seeking to harness the power of the Masquerade Mask for her own nefarious purposes. Leo and Serafina realized they must join forces to protect the Realm of Illusions from her clutches. The final battle against the Dark Enchantress was fraught with danger, testing Leo and Serafina's courage and resilience. With the strength they had gained through their cross-dressing experiences, they faced the villain head-on, using their combined powers and the support of their newfound friends. In an epic climax, Leo and Serafina triumphed, banishing the Dark Enchantress from the realm forever. The magic of the Masquerade Mask faded, and Leo and Serafina returned to their original forms. However, the impact of their journeys lingered within them, forever transforming their perspectives and granting them newfound self-assurance. As Leo bid farewell to the Realm of Illusions, he carried the lessons he learned back to his village. He encouraged others to embrace their own hidden desires, helping them discover the courage to pursue their dreams and passions. The Enchanted Masquerade became a legend passed down through generations, reminding all who heard it of the transformative power of self-acceptance and the magic that lies within each person, regardless of gender or appearance. And in Avalora, the spirit of cross-dressing and self-discovery thrived, inspiring individuals to embark on their own extraordinary journeys of identity and empowerment. Years passed since Leo's adventure in the Realm of Illusions, and the village of Avalora had undergone remarkable changes. The tale of the Enchanted Masquerade had spread far and wide, capturing the hearts and imaginations of people from all walks of life. Inspired by Leo's bravery and the power of self-expression, a group of young crossdressers formed the Society of Shimmering Masks. They aimed to create a safe haven where individuals could freely explore their true selves, embracing their chosen identities without fear of judgment. The society established a grand ball, known as the Shimmering Gala, an annual celebration where people could wear their most dazzling attire and experience the enchantment of the masquerade. The event quickly became a highly anticipated affair, attracting attendees from near and far. As the gala approached, whispers filled the air, spreading tales of extraordinary transformations and extraordinary individuals who had blossomed under the shimmering masks. One such individual was Maya, a quiet and introverted girl who had always felt confined by societal expectations. Driven by curiosity and a longing for self-discovery, Maya found herself standing before the entrance of the Society of Shimmering Masks. The society warmly welcomed her, understanding her desire to explore a different facet of her identity. They presented her with a special mask, 
woven with threads of courage and acceptance. With the mask gently secured, Maya felt an incredible surge of confidence and liberation. She emerged from the dressing room as Maxine, a charismatic and vivacious woman who radiated joy and self-assurance. The transformative power of the mask had unlocked her hidden potential, allowing her true essence to shine. At the Shimmering Gala, Maxine encountered individuals who had embarked on their own journeys of self-discovery, each donning masks that represented their truest desires. They shared stories of personal growth, self-acceptance, and the challenges they had overcome along the way. The ballroom buzzed with excitement and an atmosphere of celebration. Maxine, inspired by the stories she heard, stepped onto the grand stage and addressed the crowd. She spoke of the importance of embracing one's true identity, of breaking free from the constraints of societal norms, and of the power of self-expression. Her words resonated deeply with the attendees, igniting a spark of courage within their hearts. In, in the years that followed, the Shimmering Gala grew even more vibrant and inclusive. It became a place where people of all genders and backgrounds could gather, celebrating the beauty and diversity of self-expression. The society expanded its reach, hosting workshops and events throughout the year to provide guidance, support, and empowerment for those on their own cross-dressing journeys. Maxine's legacy lived on, and the Society of Shimmering Masks became a beacon of hope for countless individuals seeking self-acceptance and understanding. The stories of their transformations were shared far and wide, inspiring people around the world to embrace their true selves, breaking free from the shackles of societal expectations. And in Avalora, the spirit of cross-dressing and self-discovery continued to thrive as new generations embarked on their own extraordinary journeys guided by the timeless lessons of the enchanted masquerade. As the years passed, the Society of Shimmering Masks expanded its influence beyond the borders of Avalora. News of their empowering mission and the transformative power of the masquerade masks spread far and wide, reaching distant lands and captivating the hearts of individuals longing for self-discovery. Emboldened by the tales of Leo, Serafina, and Maxine, people from all corners of the world sought out the Society's guidance. The Society's members, now experienced mentors, established branches in various cities, hosting workshops, support groups, and events that fostered a sense of community and acceptance. One particular city, Lumiere Haven, embraced the Society's message wholeheartedly, becoming a haven for cross-dressers, gender explorers, and individuals seeking self-expression. Lumiere Haven blossomed into a vibrant and diverse metropolis, renowned for its inclusivity and celebration of personal identity. Within Lumiere Haven, a charismatic and ambitious young woman named Isabella recognized the transformative potential of the society of shimmering masks. Inspired by the stories she had heard, Isabella embarked on a mission to create an extraordinary production that would showcase the power of self-expression. Isabella, known for her talent in theater and event organization, gathered a team of passionate artists, costume designers, and performers. Together, they envisioned a grand theatrical spectacle called The Masquerade Chronicles, a mesmerizing blend of music, dance, and storytelling that would capture the essence of self-discovery and cross-dressing. Rehearsals were intense, as the performers delved deep into their own journeys of self-acceptance, drawing inspiration from their personal experiences and the legends of Avalora. They collaborated with members of the Society of Shimmering Masks, who shared their wisdom and stories, enriching the production with authenticity and depth. As opening night approached, anticipation filled the air of Lumiere Haven. The grand theater brimmed with excitement as attendees, donning their own shimmering masks, gathered to witness this extraordinary celebration of self-expression. The Masquerade Chronicles unfolded on stage, weaving together tales of courage, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of authenticity. Each act revealed a different facet of the human experience, exploring the diverse stories of cross-dressers, gender-fluid individuals, and those who embraced their true selves beyond societal boundaries. The audience was captivated by the immersive performances, their hearts resonating with the triumphs and struggles portrayed on stage. Through dance and music, the power of self-acceptance and the celebration of personal identity reverberated throughout the theater. As the final act reached its crescendo, Isabella took to the stage, delivering a heartfelt message of unity and acceptance. 
She urged the audience to cherish the diversity within themselves and their communities, to break free from the constraints of gender norms, and to celebrate the beauty of individuality. The Masquerade Chronicles became an instant sensation, captivating audiences and garnering acclaim, not only in Lumiere Haven, but also beyond. Its impact rippled across borders, inspiring similar productions and initiatives worldwide, fostering acceptance, and promoting understanding. In the wake of the success of the Masquerade Chronicles, Lumiere Haven thrived as a beacon of inclusivity and acceptance. The city became a magnet for artists, dreamers, and individuals yearning for a place where they could freely express themselves, regardless of societal expectations. And so, the legacy of the Enchanted Masquerade and the Society of Shimmering Masks lived on, continuing to empower and uplift individuals around the world. In a realm where self-discovery and authenticity reigned supreme, the journey toward acceptance and personal liberation became a cherished tale passed down through the ages, inspiring generations to embrace their true selves, celebrate their individuality, and dance to the rhythm of their hearts.